Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another NBA Supercard video on the channel and today we are going to be going over the brand new Skylar Diggins Smith Gauntlet which is in the game. We also have some Team Battleground rewards and some Fusions to go ahead and open for you guys in today's video so a bunch of stuff to get into but before we get into the rest of the video guys make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe with notes on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you do not want to miss any coming out in the future but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video starting off the brand new gauntlet obviously did come out i haven't played it a ton today i've been pretty dang busy i've just about to finish britney grinder i'm probably gonna play a little bit tonight and then head to bed after that probably try and get done with seth curry and then tomorrow i'll try and maybe try and get through jay crowder oops i didn't mean to do that i'll try and maybe get through part of jay crowder but there's no guarantee that'll happen just kind of hope it will um but yeah let's go ahead and uh talk about some fusions and we also got some team battleground rewards to go and get into so we'll go into those first um ended up winning this one pretty simple stuff wasn't super hard let's see what we can get oh my gosh almost the bare minimum not quite but almost dang man uh, we get so unlucky with those Team Battleground rewards. I don't think I've gotten a name with this out of there in like 10 or 15 different Team Battleground rewards. Uh, but yeah, we got we got our second Fusion ready. Let's go ahead and get into this. Hopefully, we can pull ourselves an Amethyst. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Come on. Give me an Amethyst. Let's see, let's see. Let's see Nikola Vucevic. Wow, two Sapphires so far. I guess it's not bad. It's a cool image and all, but eh. Eh, that kind of sucks. Um, we do have a couple different Nikola Vucevic images. We have this one. Not a fan. And we have this one. That's better. It fits with a card for sure. And then we also have the starter card one, which is a gold, obviously. And uh, we need to get out of recent. And we can throw that new image on him as well. Right here, because I hate that image. We'll throw the Bulls one on there, because that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that image a lot. Um, but yeah. That was our next fusion and obviously those team battleground rewards um if you guys i last yesterday there was a little bit of a mishap i ended up not uploading the video of tuesday and i uh, ended up going up yesterday so we didn't get a chance to go over this this actual like gauntlet gauntlet and who the players are so we'll do that real quick we got james ennis we got the starter card which is Brittany griner we got seth curry we got roko we got clay thompson we got nyeka ogimike we got jay crowder we got gordon hayward dame lillard and skyler diggins smith now the theme for this looks like it's most likely really good shooters because you got seth curry clay dame lillard and nyeka ogimike um but i mean i don't know because james ennis feels like an outlier roko feels like an outlier um i'm not exactly sure uh, if there's anything to this there might just not be a theme to this gauntlet, which would be interesting, but it is what it is pretty um, Solid cards Gordon Hayward sick and Yego and Yeka Okimike is sick for people who don't have her I personally already have her pro so she doesn't help me. It is what it is though um, I'm still gonna grind out the gauntlet and all that kind of stuff get this guy that against Smith pro and then next week We got the flash event coming I would expect unless they want to extend this by another two weeks or something like that I'd expect a flash event next weekend, which is gonna be a nice little break Those usually are easier than one normal event, which is kind of crazy to say so we should be able to get through those and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah, that is the brand new gauntlet. Those were some fusions, some team battleground rewards in PvP right now. I am grinding it a little bit. I have not been using any of my ads for this just because I need to save those for the gauntlet. But once I get through some of my ads on here, play this, I might play a little bit of PvP. I just gotta make it up to top five to go ahead and move on to the next leaderboard, which is about four point four thousand five hundred. And this kid's actually in my team. That's interesting. That's cool that he's there, but I got to get to about here to make it to the next league, and I plan on doing that. I'll probably just grind it a little bit when I get the chance. Why not? We'll grind it a little bit now, get some head-to-head -head games in. I need to keep playing this anyway, so we can see how it's been going. If you got, Tell me how you guys' head-to-head uh, -head has been going. See what you guys got last time, and see if you guys are in Silver League. Um, it's been good for me. been playing well, been getting games in and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully, um, it's going to start calming down pretty soon just because right now it is a big, big grind to even try and get top five. Um, so it's going to it's gonna be a grind for a while because tons of people are getting into PvP, but it'll calm down eventually just because people are going to stop playing PvP. People are, aren't going to be playing it on the daily and stuff like that. So it will calm down eventually, probably in a couple months or something like that when like pink diamond tier comes out if i have to guess that's probably when it's gonna be 
really just chilling um but yeah it's really it's really solid i'm really happy we have another game mode we can play other than quick game not on the weekends we can earn super coins as we're gonna tie here that is strange um but yeah it's a nice it's a nice little break from quick game which i really appreciate um obviously it's the same game mode but we're earning super coins that is all that matters i don't even care if i'm playing the same game mode the fact that i'm earning super coins from this makes it well worth it and also you're earning super coins by leveling up in your leagues and all that kind of stuff getting packs getting momentum slots really good stuff and it's really really helpful for sure i definitely want to try and level up this time just because last time i only ended up getting two momentum slots so i want to try and get as high as i can and uh, get as many momentum slots as possible so i can get like four or five that'll be really helpful for court dom and gauntlet um just because it'll make it much easier to beat higher tier teams so we'll have to see what goes on there earning momentum slots is definitely worth it momentum slots are really really useful especially when it comes to um games like last man standing and uh which is a wwe supercard game mode obviously but we could see a variation coming to nba supercard sometime soon as we have some cards we could train up we got nikola vucevic which we got to train him up um we'll just go and throw in our bronzes and our silvers that should be enough to max him out yep pretty simple stuff We're building up that um the collection that we have there and then we got some rubies i ended up pulling my third becky hammond out of ruby fusions which is unbelievable i can't believe i did that and uh, we got Nikola Vucevic right here, which we'll go and throw in our silvers. Uh, I don't really care. I'll just throw in all 83 of them. I know that's way too much. Um, but yeah, we got our second uh, Rainmaker card, which we have Nikola Vucevic and Joe Harris now, which is pretty solid. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but it's not super terrible. We have a ton of special cards now. We got Nikola Vucevic, Joe Harris, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Julius Randle, Kyrie Irving, James Harden. We got Jamal Murray, Steph Curry, and Jimmy Butler, and that's not even counting the pros we have, which we got Giannis, Elena Deladon, and uh, Luka, and Onyeka Ogimike with the Kevin Durant Pro, obviously, been here since day one, grinding the game, feels good, I've gotten every single event card, which is something I've yet to mention, I haven't missed a single event, I've gotten all the events finished, which has definitely been a grind, we have all four event cards, for ruby tier we have the two uh event cards for amethyst about to be three and then we obviously have the one kevin durant for sapphire and also we got all of our pulls except for i missed one winner pull that's the only thing i haven't gotten is one i missed my one extra winner pull that's the only time i haven't maxed out the grind that i can do which it feels good man it feels good to uh just be able to grind on this game sometimes and chill and relax and just play the game it's fun it's pretty chill and it's and it's it's a good time obviously but uh yeah guys that is gonna be the video we we went over the gauntlet we talked a little bit about pvp opened up our second rainy maker fusion and opened up some team battleground rewards but yeah guys that is going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with no design but yeah i'll see you boys in the next one peace out